my dear buddies welcome back to our channel yes it has been many weeks or months we haven't uploaded a video because I believe that we should upload meaningful videos and not nonsense videos so <laughs> welcome back and I am making a series of videos and this series would be known as motorcycle university so that you can learn about very important topics about the technicality of your motorcycle because if you are a true motorcycle lover you would want to know about the technical aspects of your motorcycle so today we are going to be talking about internal parts of a motorcycle not very often do you get a chance to open up the internal parts of a motorcycle and take a look at them correct external parts you can still see like the brake pads and all of that so we got an opportunity where one of our friends motorcycle is getting a complete overall a complete rebuild and we have all the internal engine parts with us and today i'm going to be making a series of videos about all these parts so today let us start with the most important that is the crankshaft and the connecting rod of an engine this is the crank shaft of your engine and this is the connecting rod that connects to the piston now this being a single cylinder engine you have a shorter crankshaft and you only have one connecting rod if this would have been a twin a parallel twin you would have one more connecting rod on this side and a longer crankshaft so if you have an inline four engine you would see a long crankshaft and this kind of a connecting rod you would see four so this connecting rod connects to the piston which we will talk about in the next video and this one the crankshaft this side is connected to the magnet of the engine you might have heard about this magnet rectifier uh, regulator and all of that so the motorcycle or uh, you know generally any engine it has to produce power so in a motorcycle this side is connected to a magnet and when the crankshaft moves you see that this part it also moves a magnet and that generates electricity I'll show that you know I'll have a magnet in my hand and I'll show it to you in the next video and this side it is connected to the clutch I'll even show all the clutch parts in the next video so what happens is that this position is known as top dead center okay the piston would be connected here and it will go into a cylinder I'll show the cylinder in the next video and there are four strokes induction compression combustion exhaust I'll explain what they are detailed in the next video so in the combustion stroke when the power is produced this connecting rod goes down with full power like this and that produces torque and it's it moves the crankshaft I hope you are able to see well Nathan if needed please zoom in okay please zoom in all right so you see this so in the power stroke the connecting rod gets the torque when the piston moves down after combustion and it moves the whole crankshaft so on this side electric power is produced by the magnet and on this side the clutch is connected probably use you're losing focus you got focus Nathan? okay so on this side the clutch is connected and power from the crankshaft is transmitted to the clutch and from the clutch the power moves to the gearbox and from the gearbox it goes to the chain and from chain it goes to the tire so I hope 
you enjoyed taking a look at the crankshaft and the connecting rod uh, of an engine and in the next video let us talk about the piston this crankshaft is of a KTM Duke 200 and you know what it is so lightweight because KTM motorcycles are made for performance and another thing you see these bearings here on the left and the right side not all crankshafts have this the KTM Duke 390 does not have these bearings why does this crankshaft have bearings so that when it sits on the casing these bearings actually provide support on both sides of the casing and when the crankshaft actually moves like this it can transfer the power I mean when the power comes from the connecting rod and it has to transfer to the crankshaft the bearings actually support it to sit on the crank I mean and on the casing of the engine okay however for the KTM Duke 390 you don't have these bearings so there is a lubricating kind of an area where the crankshaft sits because on the KTM Duke 390 KTM focused more towards performance and acceleration so reducing weight on every single part is very important so they remove these bearings on both the sides of the KTM Duke 390. I will try to show the crank uh, shaft of the KTM Duke 390 also sometime soon. Thank you buddies. Let me know if you have any questions and uh, any topic related to the internal parts of a motorcycle or any technical questions. Please write down in the comments and I will make the videos. Thank you. And if you like this kind of videos, do subscribe to this channel. Do give this video a thumbs up. Bye-bye.